6.30, call the meeting to order. Do a roll call. On Zoom, we have Rocco Camaretta. Hi. And the room we have Chris, Ali, Ann, Ali, uh, Julianne. We have with us special guest, uh, Town Administrator, Mr. Mayo. I don't get special guests off, so that was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> special guest. Um, so we have uh, item number two is public comments. Um, do we have anyone from the public who would like to make a comment? No hands up. Great. No. Okay, very good. So move on to item number three. Is, um, Mr. Mayor is going to. Um, we have a, a memorandum of understanding um, that it has been sent around. Um, Mr. Mayor has made a couple of it uh, um, changes, which which I think we all really appreciate. Hello, Councillor. Hello, Councillor. She's still connecting. She's still connecting. Yes, she is. Okay. Hello, Councillor. Um, so um, he's been very generous with this time. He's just gonna come in and review what that is and um, sure. maybe talk about uh, the, the thinking behind us signing it and, right. and uh, what problems it's gonna involve for us. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for uh, having the opportunity to come here. Uh, thank you for volunteering and um, you know putting yourself uh, out there to help the community. We really appreciate it on behalf of the town council and my office. So I'm happy uh, today that we're here to discuss um, how we protect the million dollars in ARPA funds that the town council voted to utilize for business development um, through and with the uh, guidance of the EDC um, in Wakefield. And I do appreciate you all doing that. So uh, let, let's go back to what, what happened with ARPA. So ARPA was a, was a uh, great program where a lot of money went out to the cities and towns um, all over the country, municipalities all over the country to kind of help them get out of the morass of, of COVID. Um, the last um, uh, round of funds uh, required that the funds were, were obligated by December 31st, 2024, which is really two and a half months away. Um, and the, the key question was, what does obligated mean? Okay. Well, if it was spent, that's great. So the town council, you know, voted to spend... Uh, Let's do something that is a little bit smaller. Fifty thousand dollars on a, on the fit court, which is down at um, Molten Field. That's been spent and built, so that's easy, right? Check money is spent. That's easy. Um, or it's under contract, okay? And under contract would be we sign a contract with um, construction company to build sidewalks uh, on Elm Street, okay? Easy. We have a contract. It's signed by twelve thirty one. Um, you know, with Lazaro or somebody else and says, we'll build, you know, uh, sidewalks all up and down Elm Street for $273,000. Easy. That's obligated. That contract is signed by 1231. We then get into this kind of nebulous area where the Treasury, um, I think, received a lot of questions from country uh, uh, municipalities all over the country about, hey, there are some projects we'd like to do that may not be under contract. We may not have, you know, we'd like a little bit more time. Um, so what they came up with, and I've been to many seminars offered by the U.S. Treasury, talked with our um, accountants about it, uh, our auditors about it. And so there is, if the subaward, subawardee, and the EDC in this case is a subawardee, um, signs a memorandum of understanding with the governing agency, and in this point, it's the town council, um, you're spending that money that you were, you were given kind of control over is extended through 1231, 2026. So I know that the, this, was the, this is what the treasury did. I'm very um, uh, cognizant of this, as is the uh, town council, because we don't want any of this money clawed back by the federal government. And, we don't know what's going to happen. There are going to be, could be a change in administration, could be a change in, in people. Um, we don't know what's going to happen with that. So um, we're going to, um, uh, we came up with Tom Mullen and I, um, memorandums of understanding that have been 
um, elsewhere, used mm -hmm. elsewhere. Um, and I will tell you that, although you're going to say, no, this went around and it's like seven or eight pages long, uh, and at the end, they kind of give examples of how you can, um, how you can report back to us. Uh, we really pared this down. <laughs> Some of the communities had like an epistle, um, and Tom and I really pared this down. So basically what it says is that the uh, town council um, designated, uh, by a vote of the town council, uh, designated a million dollars for use for, and I'm going to say in the big business development, you know, and it's, and it's in, the, in the agreement, really what was the kind of charge of this committee when it was created, and that the group getting the money, um, the EDC, agrees to use it for that purpose, all right, it's, it's designated for that purpose, it's obligated for that purpose, and um, that we will, um, you will help us by, by giving us quarterly reports, and I'll talk about how that's going to work out uh, in a second. So it really states that you will use the money on the area on the areas that were stated. So I guess you couldn't take this money and um, uh, you know support a um, English language learning program at the schools. That's not what this was about. This was about business development, basically. So you have to use it in that in that area, whether it's um, the facade program, which I really like, um, you know, support of pop ups and new businesses in town. Um, a digital commerce was talked about, but really anything that falls into that small business development genre uh, would be acceptable under this, which was the vision and what the town council voted for. Uh, you'll also agree to follow state bid laws, and believe me, we're going to make sure you do that, so don't worry about that at all. Um, it also says that uh, you will give reports, and you know, it asks for reports every quarter on what you've spent the money on. I give a um, report to the town council every quarter on ARPA funds, and we'd like it from, from you all as well. Um, but let me tell you how that would, how that is going to happen, because I don't expect any of you here, you don't have the time to go and do a report. So let's tell you exactly how, how it's happened right now. The million dollars that has been designated or obligated for this, for this uh, purpose has already been segregated um, by the town accountant. So there is actually a EDC a line, uh, an entry, uh, 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 entry that says you have a million dollars there, um, and everything that you do will be will be charged against that. The same uh, setup is for we're doing uh, over the um, senior center. The senior center has a separate line item for all of their things. We expect to have that all done by the end of the year. Um, the um, affordable housing trust has approximately 200,000. They have a separate area. Everything we charge back to them. So anything that this board decides to spend money on, and I love the facade program, I think it's great. I think you have, what, 10 or so um, people that have expressed interest already? Maybe more. Yeah, I think, you say 20? 20, maybe 20. Um, so that is a big part that will come out of that. So each facade you know, grant that goes out you know, will be noted at, um, will be noted at, uh, um, in the accounting office, and then we'll we'll know that hey, out of that million, you spent two hundred thousand or whatever. Okay, so we'll all know that. Um, now, I don't expect you guys to do those reports because you can't. You just just can't physically. Our town accountant's office will do that. Do those reports. Then they'll be reviewed by you guys, and then you'll okay them. Then they'll come back to me because hey, you guys are proud of that. You want to say hey, you know we did Steve, we did eight of these things. How come only seven or them are on there? Well, maybe that maybe that one didn't come out. Aaron, Aaron will tell you that. It won't be me. Um, so what I'd be looking at this morning, and then I can bring it back to the town council. Morning. This morning. I she said this morning when she came in. This, I've been here since seven, so I'm 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 falling apart. Um, uh, what I'd like looking forward to tomorrow. tomorrow. I'd be looking for this evening is because um, I know you guys got that, is a motion to instruct the chair, your very capable chair, to sign this agreement. Um, just like they did with the um, Affordable Housing Trust. These are the two sub-awards I have at this time. And so the Open for questions. Senior Center was not a sub-award? No, not yet, because we feel that that will all be either co co under contract or built by the end of this calendar year. The big expense there being windows, all right? If I have a, I think it's 40-something windows. If I have a contract for windows, that's covered. That covers it. And we're doing the work in-house. Yeah. Although I could... 
do a sub award with the DPW department if I had to do that. I'm hoping I don't have to. <laughs> the, the difference between business development and something else you mentioned about small business. Um, one of the conversation was around bringing larger businesses to the community. So you said kind of both I, I I think either 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 of those are part of uh, increasing the business area there. So I wouldn't be, okay. I'm not worried about so it. So marketing to some larger corporations to trying to get them to land on all yeah. road or some other similar yeah. site is under- I think that if, yeah, I think it is. I think that's all business development. I think, you know, I think that we'd love to see um, small businesses, minority owned, veteran owned, and certainly that that's something that we, all of that. Yeah, but hey, if you, same if, if, if you brought in- um, Solicit. A larger company. I don't know what, what uh, I don't know what what is a larger company today. <laughs> more than a hundred more than a hundred employees. That'd be wonderful too. <laughs> I, or a thousand. I think what's yeah. nice if I may. Oh, I'm just here. I'm here yeah. to help you. No, I'm, I'm here for you. Um because it's I think at some point it says falling under the guidance from the town council, and the town council is giving us this real broad right, right? They, they've right. done the language, so it's, it's a great question because right. they've done and, the language where we and, and, it, for us. and it's also important that, um, as far as the federal government is concerned, is that the granting agency, the town council, isn't coming in and pulling that money back because that's what they didn't want to have happen. But I went to a, I've been to a lot of seminars ad nauseum on this. Um, so I was really kind of nervous, but I feel much better that once these are done. Yeah. And then did the does the town council also have to sign something as well? Or? They'll they'll sign these as well. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, you sign it first, and then I bring them back to them. Both you and the uh, affordable housing trust they've already signed it, and then that's that's that. But it's just the chair that signs. And then I know the other um, point was that so the indemnification clause. So I actually did a little bit of research and I'm not an attorney. I don't know if this, but I think the state of Massachusetts, if you're a volunteer within a municipality, uh, provides liability uh, protections. So from a personal liability perspective, that's covered by the state. Well, I think in, unless, unless uh, there is embezzlement, I think we're okay. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that won't be covered. <laughs> right. I don't anticipate that happening. Right. Else? A lot of words, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm good. Anything well done. Did someone want to make a motion? You want to repeat your language? I think uh, I have a motion to authorize the um, chair to sign the uh, American Rescue Plan Act grant agreement. A motion for the chair to sign the Harbor Agreement. Okay. I'll second that. Too late. Ah. You want to third it? I'll third it. Um, what's your what's your vote, Rocco? <laughs> Rocco, are you in agreement? Definitely. Yeah. 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 I agree. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Holly. Yeah. And um, so, because folks didn't see the updated one, so there is updated language in here. Um, so. and, and what I did is the updated language is basically that the uh, town accounting town account Wakefield's town accountant office will do the reports for you because they have all the numbers anyway. Today is the nine. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Councilor Butt, did you have anything to add? No, it seems like you got um you've talked to, you know, I tr I trust you and uh Council Mullins and you've got it all figured out. So I think Julia signs on behalf of the uh of the committee and we go from there. Perfect. This was always what the this was what the town council intended. So right. super excited. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you can figure this out. I think so. If anybody behaves, you stick them right into <laughs> misbehaves. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for all your time, too. Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, good. Is there any board of who signs this next? Town Council? Town Accountant? Town Council will sign it next. Well, town, yeah. 
I'll get town council signs last. Do, do you have a point to that question? No. Sit in the big chair. That's what's shiny. That's enough. Um, if I can just for a moment, I actually did want to just um, because it's kind of a a rough day. I know some folks uh, within town. They've got some family and friends down south that are dealing with the hurricanes and um, in other parts of the world are dealing with, with the stuff going on there. So I just wanted to let folks know that, you know, we're thinking of everyone, hope everyone does, does well today, makes, makes it through today um, and tomorrow. Um, okay, great. Oh, that was good, that was quick. Um, so item number four is the ARPA funds allocation discussion. Um, so just wanna start that we're gonna, we're going to re-vote on um, the, the items that we've already voted on. Um, just there were a couple of folks who weren't, um, hadn't been sworn in yet. So we wanna go back and re-vote on those. Um, my understanding of how to do that is, where's my note? Is retract, reconsider, that you reconsider the motion. Council Butt, is that how we do that here in Wakefield to, um, do we reconsider a motion to re-vote on it? Sure. <laughs> that's, that's my understanding. Is I that... am, I'm trying to recall in my seven and a half years on town council, if we've actually ever done that, okay. Julia. So I'm, yeah. I'm not quite sure. So okay. did you, did you talk to Steve or Tom about that? I, I looked it up and I've actually, um, in, so folk, Wakefield does things a little bit different than Malden and Malden, that's how we would do it. We would, we would bring it up for um, reconsideration and then we would re-vote. Um, and the person to, so the, anyone who voted in the affirmative could bring it up. Um, but what I did is I went ahead and uh, noted who had actually made the motion. Okay, yeah? great. So I think that's the cleanest way to do it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, awesome, okay. Um, so I was hoping we could maybe start with that and just get that sort of that administrative nice. business complete. Um, so the first one I have was on 515. A motion was made by, by uh, Mr. Barrett, Chris, and it was for the $400,000 for facade improvements. And then Rocco had seconded. Um, so would you be interested in, would you be thinking about so do I need to make a motion to reconsider that vote? Correct. To make a motion to reconsider the May 15th vote on the $1,000 contribution or designation to the uh, facade and sign program. Would someone like to second that? Second. Okay, and seconds. Um, so now that's open for discussion. Do we have any discussion about, we still feel pretty comfortable with that? Rocco, you feel pretty comfortable yeah. with that? Okay, great. Very comfortable. Yeah. The only question would be for Aaron. Do we actually have 20 applications or do we have 20 people with interest? That's a good question. I know we find out. Last, our last conversation, I thought we'd get close to 10 applications mm. and swirling interest. Yeah. Another 10 more. Yeah. Just in, I mean, I don't. It's just voting the money. Isn't it? This is voting the money, yeah. Yeah. Chris always has a, a follow-up question. He's a well, curious guy. Well, follow-up would be, if we have that much interest, should that number be larger? So it would be interesting to know what that number is, correct? Yeah. So if absent that information, make a motion to designate 400 dollars program. Mm -hmm. I asked Steve to come back just to make sure we get the right language. So, oh, so my understanding for revotes is you, someone, the person, it could be anybody who had voted in the affirmative. Well, that's for reconsideration. I think you're just revoting. So, but why are we revoting? You're revoting because I think for a couple of those votes, and let me pull up my email on it, there was not a quorum that was sworn in. Yes. So, so it it's as if the vote didn't take. Never, never, never happened. Never happened. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Let me pull those up though. Sorry. Yeah, I have them here. <laughs> oh, from what I sent out to you guys? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, let me, yeah. let me pull mine. Yeah. 
Um, so given that information, you just we just need to read the motion that was made back on the table and vote. Me or whoever just put it in the I don't I don't put it back on the table. No, then I will put oh, the anybody, yeah. back on the table. It was okay. kind of motion that was made. Right. Right. Can I just check with Rocco? Rocco, do you have any additional comments? You good? I don't. Yep, I'm fine. Okay, great. All right. So then the motion is to designate four hundred thousand dollars our funds towards the facade and sign program. Great. Give a second. Second. And seconds. Rocco, in favor? Yep. In favor. Okay. Yep. Yes. Yeah, all your favor? Yes. Yeah. Do we in favor? All right. So it's yes. unanimous six to zero. Great. Um, the next one was the. All right. So this one, you're both on the chamber. Oh, all three of you. Okay. So we're going to skip that one. Um, the digital marketing. So we can um, make a motion with 60,000 back on June 5th. And Chris, again, you had made that motion. Make a motion to designate $60,000 to the digital, to the digital marketing program. Ali seconds. Favor, yes, 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 yep. Rocco. Yes. Okay. Chamber, and then on seven thirty-one, Anne had made the motion to move forward with the pop-up for a hundred thousand. You want to make another motion? Oh. Seconds. Second. Uh, Ali, second. Are you in favor? In favor. Yeah. Yeah. Favor, favor, Rocco. Favor. Excellent, great. Okay, and then we'll um, we'll uh, try at the next meeting to do the chamber for the ten thousand. And that's all of them. Great, great, excellent. I think I'll, I think that's what I have too. Good. So, thank great. you. Thank you. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> Turn your phone off. No, it's never <laughs> on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank Here. you. Great. Okay. Um, so with that, I'm going to include the ten. Um, if we add all that up at this point, we've voted on. That would be five sixty, and the ten grand would be five seventy. So that leaves us with four thirty. Um, that we need to allocate by. The end of December, we've done um, a quite a bit of, of conversation around uh, municipal marketing. Uh, I like the way Chris words it. Chris words are great, and um, funding arts and events. Um, do we want to continue to have conversation on that? Do we want to? Do we feel like we're ready to put forth a motion on that? Let's start with the marketing. The, the, in essence, community marketing. In essence, the marketing on a lot of one road and some of our industrial um, and sites that are viable for large companies to come in. I guess the, the thought would be how? How do you pursue that? How do you spend money doing that? You hire a marketing company. And or at least a consultant. Yeah. Oh. They come in and they consult. So you consider yep. a PR company, a marketing company, um, some things that, and I would think it would be bigger than just, or I would think it would be for Wakefield. Um, it may be focusing on some specific businesses. Um, I worked in PR, so all these, all these news stories you see, that's there's a um, PR companies, marketing companies go, and there's a list, and they go and they see what the news is going to be, and they pitch their their companies, they pitch the municipality, they pitch the business. And get on the news that way, um, but it would be. I would think working through the communications department with Aaron. Um, hiring a, a marketing firm to really come in and market Wakefield 
um, when I chatted, I chatted with um, Janet Communications and Aaron, and they both said that the, the marketing that we have now was sort of sort of bare bones. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be an opportunity to really bump that up. But it's also about that consultant having contacts in some of these places. You're not blindly sending out emails, solicitations, or whatever. You need someone who has, I was say standing isn't the right word, but has contacts mm -hmm. in some of these places. Is that, that's personally more important than what you said out for a marketing piece. It's getting it in the hands that actually have the ability to work towards a decision in a relocation like that. Or for the business? Yeah. You know this, anyone know this person? Um, so, so marketing, PR, social media, that's all, that's all getting the word out for, um, for wait, for what makes, in order to be competitive, we're, we have to, the, the, the collateral, if you look at the, we were in sitting in Reading, we're sitting in the, uh, the wine Reading, and there's, they have a magazine, the Reddings. Have you seen this? You must have seen this. The Reddings. Have you seen it? Slick. And we literally went and went, this is <laughs> amazing. So that costs money. And that's, that's Reading and North Reading, and I think Sonam's in there as well. Yeah. That's all different ones. Like, you don't want to have them at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Um, and that's marketing. So that's the collateral. It's just a high level, high gloss um, magazine that they put together and they really sell the business and they really sell the communities. Um, so getting into the particulars of what the marketing strategy would be, I would actually think, I don't know Jen's last name. McDonald. Thank you. Um, I would think Jen McDonald would put together a real marketing strategy for the town um, and look to really maybe come to us and say, this is the, this is the company that uh, is really great with marketing municipal uh, communities, with targeting larger companies or targeting uh, events, whatever. And then she would come and say, this is the plan. And then we'd, get, we'd look at that and go, this is great. Right. We need to brand ourselves. We need a brand. <laughs> And kind of dollars <coughs> is that program kind of looking at? It depends on what you want from them. You know, do you want you know the whole package? Like, you know, they're gonna come in and talk to everyone and brand us. We're branded, you know, this is what we want to see, this is how we're gonna do it. Or you could be talking the housing. I think it's higher. You know, the bare bones probably would be like 50. I think the bare bones is, I think, I think it's 100. I think it's 150. Marketing's not kind of cheap. Marketing is not cheap. And then you go in, you know, depending on the well, it's, stuff that they do. It, it's more than marketing, it's how to create branding and they actually have, that, again, having so an idea where to put it. You know, um, not everyone likes the Reddings magazine, but where do you put it? someone's hands that will love it aside from someone sitting at the line or sitting in the coffee shop where their Reddings magazine is. You know, it's, it needs to go way beyond the community. Yeah, I think what Chris is saying is it can't just be sitting in a coffee shop for somebody to flip through. Like, we need somebody that's going to be out there, like, pushing that, like, making meetings, getting in people's offices, saying this is why you need to be in Wakefield. I think that's can't just be in right. You know, a magazine for people to flip through. I think it, you were saying connections. And I yeah. think that's really important. You gotta, you have something that's gonna get through the door to, to make that conversation. Mm -hmm. But I yeah, understand yeah, yeah. part of they're it. done, those, they will mail them mm -hmm. to specific households. And usually they, they do it with a um, income based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was, that was just an example. That was a recent 
collateral that I saw that I was just really wild with. Um, and I know we have a contract with the vendor who does our our um, website, the municipal website. Um, but there's also the social media aspect. There's the content manager. So it's it's not one person doing it. That's why it's usually a company, a consulting company, marketing company, where there's the content manager who goes out. There's the the uh, design folks, the creative people. Um, some of the municipalities, I just go and I look at their Facebook pages or their websites, and they're amazing. <clears throat> um, and I think it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for us to brand. I love that you said that. That's perfect for us to brand and to brand how amazing Wakefield is and why this is a great space. Maybe, you know, maybe they do a drone over Audubon. I mean, like your business could be here, right? Yeah. So we think that's a 150 ask. And this is marketing in a general sense, but not specifically talking to people about real estate locations in town or, or specific streets. It's just general awareness. Selling, selling Wakefield. I think we need to start with the general of why, why should you bring your business to Wakefield? Right. And then the, the where they should go is like a separate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Because then you'd be like, oh, this is great. Wow. <clears throat> Look at this. Okay. Like they need. Someone needs the brand, someone needs the pieces to work with. Mm -hmm. You just can't stop in and like, get a hold of a company and say, here we are. Mm -hmm. We need some pieces or some things to actually say who we are and what we're about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's also for to bring consumers in. So it's also, um, you know, to roll into the public art and the event. So. You're now marketing your your events. Now we're we're marketing the um, Fourth of July parade. Like I know we get a lot of people, um, but there's folks who don't know about it, right? So then it's it's marketing to consumers to come in and say, oh, I didn't know there were all these restaurants over here. Um, <clears throat> we often talk about other municipalities, and um, when I walk down Main Street in Melrose, I always walk around and say, they really. We really have what they have here. We really do, and it's just a question of um, raising our. I think it's raising our visibility. Yeah, get your profile out better. Mm -hmm. I don't think the C two is um, a little bit um, retention of businesses that we have. How we do that, mm -hmm. you know, we can figure that out better. I think trying to retain businesses and not let them. Certain times, certain businesses I know of that we lost a couple mm -hmm. because they didn't have some funding to do some small things in the business. Mm -hmm. So, how could we retain businesses? And it's great to have new businesses, which we need, mm -hmm. but I think retaining of some of the businesses is, is extremely important. So, agreed. Agreed. Is it possible to have a list of companies and industries that are currently in Wakefield so we can look for? Industries that are light or, or, you know, if, if you go on, I, I'll, I'll find the link again. I was on, I think it's on our, maybe, do you know where the market assessment is? Is it, it's, if you go on the Wakefield page, there's, um, publications or something. There's a market assessment that has a ton of information Okay. that was done 2016, I think. Um, but it's great. And this is a silly example, but let's say we have a list of all the restaurants and we see that, you know, we have Chinese food, Italian mm -hmm. food, and then blank food. Oh, there's no restaurant like mm -hmm. that. And there happens to be a chain or a larger right. business that, you know, we'd know sort of specifics of, of people that might be interested in mm -hmm. having a president a presence with no competition. Right, right. And then you could go with your your swag, your collateral and say, yeah, this is why this is good. Go check out go check out our Facebook, our Instagram, our Twitter. What else is out there? Flickr is Flickr still a thing? You're way younger than me. <laughs> I'm still old and too old to know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> but check out the um, the market assessment. It has that. It has all that. And it has all that. It's again, it's like ten years old, but it's it's very it's really well done. The one who did that put that together back in 2016, and I wonder if we can. Yeah. Get a more updated, you know, 
If it's that's, it's that's on there. Eight years old. Yeah. 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 Who did it is on? I forget the name. It's really well mm. done. I guess what's swirling around that is a hundred and fifty thousand um, dollar task or, or um, <clears throat> hire of a consultant marketing person to brand uh, the Wakefield community or market the Wakefield community profile. Um, I mean, do you need to have business language in there or? Or do you not tighten it up and it's just a um, $150,000 motion to branding and marketing of Wakefield? I think that's fair. 150000 just in general, up to 150000 to get the ball rolling on, on rebranding and remarketing. The town. Is that your motion? Can be. <laughs> Is that your second, Rocco? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So up to one hundred fifty thousand for marketing and branding, Wakefield. Marketing branding, and should we just add social media just in case that's to make that clear? I think yeah. social media would be part of my thing. Right. Like Including, yeah. yep. You'd hope. Including, but not limited to. Yep. Oh. Ooh. All right. That's and you second, is that correct, Rocco? That's yeah. correct. Yes. Okay. All in favor? Yes, 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 yes. That's unanimous. 6 0. Okay. Good. I'm doing math. You gotta give me a second. Okay. All right, great. Um, so the next thing I have on my my list of what we've chatted about in previous meetings is um, the public art and community events. You want to continue to have a conversation on that? Yeah. Okay. Anyone? Anyone? Do, you know, do, do we, are we trying to create so, community events that you know, kind of mirror some of the stuff we've done or that has been done in Wakefield in the past? I would, I would use the word support maybe because there's a there's a ton I, what I, so I'm learning so much there's a ton of organizations right because there's a lot of organizations within mm -hmm. Wakefield that have done these things in the past and it seems like maybe they've um, if we could support that and maybe um, bring folks together back together and provide some funding to support their efforts that is one of the more difficult pieces in doing community events is the task of fundraising. Mm -hmm. right. And it's, you know, it's going to shovel on the ground and dig and see what you can find and try and get people to sponsor things. So, you know, is it all under our, <clears throat> our mission to say we'd like to plant some seed money with some of the organizations that do community events and get them revitalized or, or help people find some new events. So I was chatting with, um, I was chatting with a, a local artist, someone who's very involved. Um, I don't like to use names if I don't tell them I'm going to use their name. Probably. Um, and what they had said, and Mary, maybe you can, you can um, add some, some insight into this. Um, what they had indicated is that the arts community within Wakefield was really starting to really come together and be incredibly active because of um, ACE. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that when COVID came in, it kind of shut everything down. It was a real impact to them. Um, but that they were holding these events and people were coming and they were really sort of driving business um, locally. 
within that assessment, the market assessment that was done 10 years ago, um, it literally says that community events, and it gives numbers of um, the impact to local business, that it's a, it's a driver. Um, so that's, that's more, since the folks are already here and they already know how to do this and they already know, uh, this would, seed money I think is a great way to, to word it, uh, to kind of give them some foundation and say, you were impacted by COVID. We understand you're impacted by COVID. This is to help you uh, re-engage and re-engage the community. So, so what, what, what are you talking about? Is there a specific? Can I make me remember that? I should have written that down. Well, no, so, Wakefield, so Wakefield neighborhood. That might be. WCNA that does many different things over the years, but so, if you do something like this, does it also become an application thing? And, and you know, you're not just you know handing out money and designating you know a concept, but now you've got to have someone apply. You know, here's some funds that we'll call seed money for community events. Should someone be putting together a plan or have a history or at least a resume of what they've done before we participate? And does that also cover one of the other concerns, which is we basically just made a line item for money designated to do something, and that gets it off our books. And I'll let Marie maybe feel that one. What do you mean? But as we just, you know, designated four hundred thousand dollars to the facade design program, do you designate fifty thousand dollars for a program that people would apply for seed money to do sponsor, you know, or, or have community events? So, so if we if we sort of flip this on its head, right? So we flip it on its head, and what is our what is our charge? Our charge is to um, our current is the do you figure out the opera funds to drive economic development, to drive commerce, to drive small business? Um, we we know. Do we all agree that community events drive business? Point I was going to make exactly. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we give examples of past events just so I have a, an idea of, of like what, what has gone on in town in terms of community events? What's written in the thing? You, you guys tell me. Um, the holiday stroll, um, what's written in the assessment was the holiday Festival stroll. Italia. This or Italia. There were just different community there events one more. That, one more that different groups had to fundraise to put on. And Maybe that's why I talk about an application. You know, I wouldn't want to just have me walk up and say, hey, I want to do an event. Can you just you know, throw me $10,000? But what have you done? Yeah, and we so could do that. Really beneficial is, uh, to the business. And, and, and on what, you know, what's it going to bring? The, the business or the um, creative community? Because I, again, that, to me, I kind of view it as together and um, understanding that, that folks who make a living through their through their creative process, whatever that is, quilting, writing, yes, yes. That's still they, business. They, yeah. business, they got hit by COVID as well, and they've taken it. Um, so totally, I totally agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why application mm -hmm. makes sense if we were going to get money to pay to tax. Mm -hmm. We're not just funding mm -hmm. something that's not really going to do anything for businesses. Right, no, agreed, agreed. And the parade and the block party, are they both examples of, of this? Or would I would say those would fall under that. They would. Okay. What about the farmer's market? Would that fall under that? What do you think? I think it does. It brings so people together. Yeah, it does. But wouldn't it be amazing if you could figure out how to take all the people who go to the farmer's market to come downtown? Wouldn't that be just incredible? Oh. Why don't they move the farmers market ahead. downtown? Why couldn't we figure out a way to bring those people down there? Bring those people that want to make with the businesses. I'd rather see the money go to something like that market 
ourselves for, for the businesses, representing the businesses to get those people up from the farmer's market downtown, people walking the lake downtown. Why don't they move the farmer's market down to the common? My understanding that was a that was a um lo a lot of conversations went into to where it went. Again, Marine, mm -hmm. you'll know more you'll know more of the history of that than than I do. Yeah, there's a lot of people that rent um the commons. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, like the big walks that they have or the events that they have. So it was better for uh, when we voted um, on it, we said that that's the location that it can kind of be permanent. We don't rent out that, that location. So that was part of it. Mm -hmm. I think that's a huge part. You don't want to get in the way of other events with something that's a standing event. Right. Yeah. And I would, I, I would just sense. push, I would, I would, push back a little bit. I, I do think people come to the farmer's market and they do go downtown. I, I think that's a pretty broad statement to think that, you know, when I've tabled at the farmer's market, um, you know, we could probably get better data on this, but I run into a lot of people that aren't from town and then they'll go and have lunch somewhere. They're coming and they're getting coffee from somewhere and coming. So I do think it is an economic driver for the rest of our town. Um, I know people who go play pickleball and then, you know, go to the farmer's market. So I do think people, people do work their way over. I think we have a lot of those big events. You know, I'm looking at people on the Zoom and we've got the Easter egg hunt and we've got Festival by the Lake and, um, you know, we have Santa who sits out there in December Um and I just I just want to highlight something that I think I heard Ali say is that, you know, where Aaron's not here, Aaron has the relationship with the businesses. A lot of those big events, the businesses on Main Streets were not a fan of. They did not like them. They did not like that. They felt they had to close their businesses that day. It wasn't worth it for them. So I want to be really mindful of us thinking like they were fun events for us. But, you know, is that the best for the businesses in our town? Also, Plaza, Plaza Jazz, you know, that's also something that brings people downtown um, and people kind of come and listen. And that's the arts that you're talking about. So I just want to be so, mindful of not, you know, of making on. assumptions. And I know Erin has kind of the data, like she's done the survey. She's had discussions with the businesses and I just want to be mindful of like she's kind of done some of that work I think that market assessment it was done before my time I just I just sent it um I just found it on our website it was it was before I joined the council but it was a different world in 2016 too right like sure. so I, I want to be mindful of the town looks different than it did then mm -hmm. you know businesses yeah. look different and so I don't want to hang our hat on that also so, right. That's why I, I mentioned that maybe if we can get a more updated assessment or, you know, I don't know what so, the expense is behind that, but right. I think it would be worthwhile. There's, but there's elements of it that actually do still apply. So what they did a really great job of is they, they did the two mile and then they did the three mile. So they, and then they looked at, um, they looked at where we're losing to um, other uh, outside the two mile range. Um, it's, I, I, I guess it was like reading it this morning. Um, so they, it mentioned Linfield, it mentioned uh, Redstone, it mentioned all the other areas that folks are, are uh, bleed. I think it's called bleed, bleeding out into these other areas. Um, never intending, so, so just never intending to say that the farmer's market isn't amazing because I think the farmer's market is not leveraged enough. It would be incredible to have, I, I think Amory's numbers are 1,500 people a day. And it would be amazing to have 1,500 people a day come downtown, right? So it's, it's you know, every, if we just, I always say, I always say, I always try to Tom Brady life, right? We can always be better. It doesn't matter how many mm -hmm. rings, you can always do better. So I just want to make sure that every time we mention something, it's not viewed as um, an affront because that's no one's intent. Um, I've talked to folks 
who actually want the stroll back. So um, I'm not sure, maybe you can tell us who wasn't happy about it, but I've talked to businesses who have said, can you bring the stroll back? Because that was great. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe- I heard the same thing they've been heard. In our office is, was in the middle of the stroll. Yeah. And I heard from a lot of people that struggled that day that had businesses to do business, hair shops, mm -hmm. different, different companies had a hard time with the street being closed in essence for the day or their customers that were in that loop. Sure. So the, the stroll itself conceptually is fabulous. Yeah. Um, there's probably a better way to make that concept Bingo. blend into what accommodates everybody's issues on the periphery of negativity. Right. So, so maybe it's not. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's not maybe it's... called a stroll. Maybe it's a holiday event and it's placed maybe in a different spot. Maybe it's upper common. Maybe it's somewhere else in the community. Or maybe it's maybe it's evening, right? Maybe it's done in the evening. Because a lot of like the, you gotta remember a lot of the hair salons and stuff, Saturday is the busiest day. Oh, sure. And to have to shut down because- Maybe do it on Sunday. Get to your place. Mm -hmm. And then I know some, I know some of them felt like they almost had to participate to put their name out there, but for them, it was a lot of money spent and they didn't really get anything from it. They weren't getting new clients. They weren't getting new people visiting. They weren't, they weren't getting people to buy anything because they didn't have anything to sell that night. So mm -hmm. For, for our service providers, mm -hmm. it's really more of a hardship than a beneficial thing. So I think we have to keep in mind that we don't have just retail downtown. We have a lot of service providers too. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to come up with something that's going to be beneficial for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think another issue was closing down Main Street. Um, that's because it's a so we do, state so we do So do we not want to do community events? So I, I think there should be an avenue to find community events. You know, and maybe they're location driven. Um, you know, the Galvin school area has a lot of space. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I, I'm not going to get into how you protect the turf and the fields and the parking lots and that kind of stuff, but you wouldn't that, 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 that's that's a huge venue if you did some kind of community event and it's you know it's it's centrally located enough that you can find parking around it mm -hmm. and, and so maybe it's not a holiday stroll maybe it's a winter wonderland right in, in that location that offers an opportunity for different vendors to come into that I mean, is this something, is this topic maybe we could table until Erin is here? So, because maybe she could reach out and get some feedback. She has some feedback from previous events, because I would kind of like to hear like what she's heard from merchants as far as what are they looking for for events? Sure. Um, what, I'm, what I'm getting concerned about, I'll, I'll be candid, is it's October and we have until December. So I... I, I thought we had chatted about this quite a bit. So that's why I was thinking we were at a point to kind of maybe make some decisions on the public and public art community events because it was all together. Um, do you want to break it out? Do you want to? Everybody thinks it's best. So uh, are we talking about a number and an application process for seed money to do community events? I mean, I don't think we want to start creating community No, we don't events. want to. <laughs> no, I agree. I think you have enough jobs agree. Um, with that one and this one. So I, I'm not sure how I, I so it's conceptualize how you want it's, to. It's challenging. That. It's challenging for me because since this, folks have, have reached out and said, this would be great if we could do the, the Italian thing. It'd be great if we could do the Italian thing. And I get that you don't want to choose one like you want to be inclusive of everyone. I totally get that. I'm like, um, but folks have really reached out and said, this is great. This is great. Like I miss, literally someone said, the thing I miss most about Wakefield is I miss the community events is literally what they said to me. Yeah. Um, so if, if there was an event in the past that wasn't successful for business, then yes, we should not replicate that. 
Um, well, so it's successful for some businesses uh -huh. and it's a hardship for others. So there's got to be so what? a time slot or a way to, to kind of recreate these events in, in a format that works or is less of a hardship for some of those that, you know, it made, made that a difficult day for them. Mm -hmm. or, or a location that's kind of off the beaten path that people can go to. Um, for example, the uh, Landrigan Field, for example. So like, just like Gillette, when the Patriots aren't playing there, there's bands that play there, there's all kinds of things that go on there. Maybe that could be a venue that we could hold a, they, they could hold an event there. I know, Chris, you mentioned about, you know, tearing up the field and all that stuff, but, you know, that field sits pretty much unused after football season and soccer season, I believe. But, you know, maybe that, there's something there. What it's worth, that, that little area is going to be tied up, I think, pretty good for the next yeah, years. Yeah, that's true. And anything that's turf, there's a lot of rules and regulations. Yep. So mm. I get it's not right. used because it's turf. Uh, there's a lot of things you can't even put yeah. on. So yeah. don't, I don't mm -hmm. think that would be the best spot. For right. And, and to Maureen's point about the, the assessment was done years ago, where the, years ago, Foundry wasn't built out the way it was built and all that stuff isn't. So we actually do have more potential consumers who are now downtown. So community events to really help bring folks um, I would think it's something that so people to would... that end is it, is it worth us doing or having a market assessment done and funding that? I like that idea. Mm -hmm. uh, updating this one? Yeah, I would think. I would think so. If I was a large company and I was looking at Wakefield as a possibility to come in. I would like to look at a marketing assessment mm -hmm. and go in to see what I can get that's offered to us. So I think spending money on something like that mm -hmm. is valuable. So that probably falls under the branding and community profile marketing piece, but uh, maybe it's a separate line it's item to different. update the marketing assessment. I think it's more valuable information for us. Um, we went to the Indie Clover um, open house the other day. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have time. They were busy. So I wanted to go back, which maybe we can go back forever and just say, why did you get Wakefield? Because this business is the first one, I think, on the East Coast. It's not, it's a, it's a franchise. Yeah, I know the owners said things with them when, but how did you yeah, know? She, I mean, you know, I talked you know, about like, did, did she say anything? And it was like almost um, site driven. You said. And you know, that, that site, when she saw it, she said just clicked for her and she thought it would be fabulous. I'm so bummed they took the sign down. Like, that's history. Yeah. So, and Allie talked to our new business on Albion Street, and they told her that they came to Wakefield because of so much building that's going on, mm -hmm. the apartments and the house, yeah. that he saw opportunity. A, an opportunity mm -hmm. to come in and thrive because of the demographics. Yeah. That he said that the way he was brought up was to, you know, really look for those communities that had development happening because that showed a thriving economic base. Mm -hmm. And when he came, drove, drove through and saw that when we were bringing in all these new residential areas to him, he really thought his business would do really well in Mary. Like that's the same thing. So what's, what's it cost to update the market assessment? And is that something we should spend money on? So I can't, cause I'm not 10, so I can't pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a woman that there's there's the companies on there. The company well, to, yeah, the company's on there. Is this where you wanted me to be? I think so. It's um, find it. Find I, I just you said yeah, 2016. Yeah, it's 2016. But um, Ellie has it. Find Fine Point Associates LLC. 
fine. Can you do me? Can you do me a favor? See if they still exist. So to me, this, this is a this is advantageous for someone coming into town and yes. to see what the heck Wakefield is, uh -huh. and to look at that, I think is more valuable. So what I would think updating something they've already done would be less expensive than someone starting new. Mm -hmm. and so if they still exist. If they still exist, I think we should fund updating that. That should, that, well, I agree. Okay. She must have a lot of the information. Is she still, then she's still doing it. The 2016, so that's about eight years. Their, their website's finepointassociates.com. You are, you are disappointing me today. No, I'm looking at, I was just got sucked into reading it. <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very different, very different world. Yeah. yeah, is someone, is someone making a motion? It's 730, so I want to see. I'll make a motion. Too late, you get a second, Rocco. Go ahead, Allie. He's not going to show up. <laughs> you do. We miss you. I'm going to show up. Update the 2016 uh, market assessment that was done for Wheatfield. To to fund that or to, to fund to fund. Okay. Do you have yeah. a up to amount? Do we have an up to amount that we're comfortable with? I don't know if he's usually twenty five. I would say 25. yeah up to twenty five thousand. Does that sound right, Maureen? Stuff like this. I don't know. I that was done before my time. So yeah. I don't know if we got a grant. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Well, historically, it doesn't matter what funded that. I guess the question was, you know, what are your thoughts on actually doing that? Dating. It's not dating. I think that's a nice tool. That's a nice tool for the community to have in our marketing and outreach program. But it's, but it's, Everything that we're talking about, it's it's the data is there. Like we always talk about data. There's a lot of data there. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Allie's, there's a motion on the floor. Rocco. Rocco yep, I second that. Okay, yep. Rocco seconds. In favor? Yes. It's in favor. Anna in favor. Mm -hmm. Ali in favor. Juliana in favor. All in favor. Six zero. Excellent. It is um, seven thirty five. Are people okay still or? I need to sneak coach for 10 minutes. Okay. I can stay another 10 minutes, then I gotta move okay. along, unfortunately. Can we can we can we try to do the public art reel within 10 minutes? <laughs> yes, we can try. Okay. We could try. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna hop off? Okay. Um, yeah, I can stay up for a moment. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we've we've talked about this quite a bit. We've talked about public art. Um so does public art, the way you mentioned earlier, tie you to events? So I thought that's how we've been talking about it the whole time. Okay. But we can separate it. That's well, because I, I think I, you know, some of us might have heard some pushback about public art. And maybe it's a lack of understanding what it is. But you know, I think some Push, of the pushback, pushback from no, not, not from us, oh, okay. from, from just different people I have talked to um, in my travels yeah. Yeah. That, that, you know, uh -huh. don't want us building things or having permanent it's art. Very correct, yeah. So you know, when, when you talk about public art, we're talking about arts programming or arts, yeah, programming. The, the, becomes a, a community event or a community driver like that. And 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 by art, it, it could be physical art like murals, but it can also be music or or right. any other type of medium. Right. Right. Creative. Correct? Right. Creative. Yeah. Creative endeavors. Correct. Mm -hmm. I understand there's a there's a creative writing group in Whitefield. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, and not to, I do, I do still, I personally think having public art on, on buildings is a, mm -hmm. would be something that would drop one. It is my, and, and my I, personal. And I like that as well. <laughs> I'm a fan of that. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when you brought that up, 
the mural, I, I guess that there was a cost associated with it. I think some people may have uh, pushed back on a little bit, if I recall so that, correctly. Yep. So that cost, just so folks understand, that cost was on, um, I won't say the property, was on a massive building that requires uh, quite a bit of prep and would require quite a bit of staging. Um, so when you really think about what goes into something like that, um, right. it's it's a big project. I love the idea of having, say, groups downtown where it's a little three-piece band on by the savings bank, let's say. Um, and that, I think, would bring business downtown. To me, that art type thing would be awesome to have, you know, different, you know, people coming in, different types of, even a juggler or, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. The arts that would bring down. So um, I, when Porch Fest was here, I had gone to one of the restaurants that I had. It was hopping because hopping. it was music. Yes. And they had outside seating and it, it was amazing. The restaurant was packed mm -hmm. and you couldn't get a seat outside or inside. Mm -hmm. And I think that brought people downtown, mm -hmm. brought money to the restaurants, it made a difference. The bar downtown was alive. Mm -hmm. So something like that, I wouldn't mind investing in like an art type. Mm -hmm. Program, yeah. You want to call it art and music? Would that be better? You want to just call it creative? Art, music, and creative and You said arts. Hmm? It, arts. It gets away from the presentation that you're painting, building, yeah. doing permanent structures downtown. And, right. you know, Plaza Jazz was referenced earlier in you know, is there a, an arts program? that could set up somewhere in Wakefield on a, a weekly basis for entertainment. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that arts type thing, you know, be it a music or a performance type thing. It, if there's a venue that you can say, okay, these eight weeks in the summer, we're gonna have entertainment, music, performance, every Wednesday night at seven o'clock here. Um, mm -hmm. That's a draw to that. Yeah, I'll switch, up, switch places to have maybe like three on a certain night or that you can mosey on downtown and you might want to stop for a bite to eat. You might want to, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. Or even like a Saturday afternoon, bring your kids down. And, mm -hmm. And have some music or some type of entertainment. Right. Or it even can go into the other squares, right? So, right. you know, you know the, the pizza joint is, is open back up. Everyone's excited. And there's, there's ice cream there, to your point, bring the kids. And, and again, in, in one of the <clears throat> venues, for lack of a better word, that has had events in the past, and the most recent thing there was the, the Mike Sullivan um, event um, memorializing his father, and they closed Albion Street mm -hmm. from Main Street to Foster. It's a small space, relatively speaking, mm -hmm. but it's a street that's closed with minimal disruption to businesses. You know, Ace Building is right there as well. We that section of downtown, I think, is, you know, calling to be well used for that kind of stuff. And you're not going to hurt the merchants. It's not that far of a walk. Mm -hmm. You know, if someone is in that little spot and they're not, you know, their customers or clients are going to get there. Mm -hmm. So I think a spot like that could be a, a great spot for events. It's a good idea. Yeah, you know, that Foster Street, you're right. That that's not really taking up a lot of space, especially after hours, right? But even if you did it Saturday from one to four, mm -hmm. I mean that's that's a that space 
is not that disruptive to businesses yeah. and to downtown. Mm -hmm. We did it with Wakefield Main Streets. That's what we did. Right. We, had, we had a couple of beer trucks, and tables, some food coming in. So I, I guess where we're swirling around um, language, what the language is for a community arts program, potentially recurring events through the course of summer or fall or winter, or it's year round. Um, yep. Do, do you, you say we're going to do eight community events? in the course of 2025 and fund it with X amount of dollars. Two years, yeah, two years. 2025, 2026, yep. two years. Yeah. Is that your motion? <laughs> it was nice to me. I, think I like that, that you, um, I like that you pluralized so. art. I think that's important, it's arts. So it's, arts. it isn't just like, you know, it isn't just the connotation the, is people get going to paint, build, right. or, or and, and I think if you make that arts, you know, it mm -hmm. becomes more Agreed. musical performance or something. Mm -hmm. It seemed like some of the pushback with the mural was about our choices of aesthetics too. Like people were afraid that we were going to make, you know, not so tasteful choices with 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 things, right. and so or leaving it. Open ended to like arts of all types. Yeah, We're not right. picking just right. heavy metal bands. Yeah. <laughs> right. And it's interesting because there was an email sent where, because because the, um, if we really talk about the flavor of Wakefield, of who Wakefield is, Wakefield is, what did you say, Chuck Norris? <laughs> so <laughs> Wakefield really is, um, you know, a lot of the birds are amazing, like a lot of, um, and some, some folks were like, well, I don't want it to be so patriotic. It's like, but that really is the flavor of, of Wakefield. So mm -hmm. talking about arts, talking about funding public arts, it's making sure that it fits within the community because it's, it's still going to fit within the community. Um, mm -hmm. And I think folks heard that. Okay, thank you. Oh, very quickly, next meeting. What's what day, what's big picture day times that we're What's for the best? Okay, earlier, because it's going to be November, like earlier, like early November? Yeah, what do you think about November? First or second? Yeah, okay. Pretty, pretty Wednesdays. Okay. okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Night. 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 Your motion? So allocate up to. <laughs> Remember, this is for two years. <laughs> Up to fifty thousand dollars. I still think that. You think that's light? Yes, because if, for two years, if you're talking about eight things, and then you're talking about potentially, potentially, temporary art installations, you're talking about potentially. Um, um, art on the side of a building. That's that's money. How about seventy five? You guys are you guys are that's making a motion. Light too? I'm not allowed to make a motion. You're thinking more like one fifty two hundred, right? I'm thinking more like one fifty. Yeah. I am because it's for remember it's two years, and it's what do we have multiple. Left? Multiple. Last I peaked was um, two fifty five. We have what? Two fifty five left. Oh, is that your math? Very good. Yes. Yeah, very good. Yes. I'm just, but I don't, I, I kind of don't, we want to make sure that we're funding stuff because what we can't do is we can't go back, right? So we have to allocate it by December 31st. Right. So we can't go back. Let's say, I think what we can do, I think if say the facade, all of a sudden the facade program, those gangbusters, I think we can shift, I think, because it's allocated, we, we have an account, so it's allocated into the EDC account. And he's not, there's not sub accounts. He's not breaking out into sub accounts. So should science decide take off? Can we reallocate some of the stuff we talked about? I I think, and that's a that's a question. That we don't have an answer to right now. 
I'm not a thousand percent sure. I'm 85 percent sure. That we can or can't. We can. Because it's because what I just signed is we have an I think we can. I think we can. I thought I remember hearing that. Yeah. So if, if if we did 100 for the arts and then down the road in the next month or so, we figured that, well, we need more. Maybe we'll make it 75. So instead of having eight events, we only do six events. Play with the money that way. I don't know. Is that your motion? For <laughs> make a motion for 100,000. Up to? Up to 100,000. All right. Give me your give me your language here, Rocco. Uh, up to 100,000 to fund creative arts program and events. Anyone have any? Second. Favor, favor, favor. Program and events. Okay, excellent. I think I'll get my old uh, band together from Wakefield. When I was in Wakefield High, there I was in a rock band called the Hostages. So there I think go. I'll get the band back together for the is, first event. Is that event. how you got people to stay? Play porch fest. That's what the porch fest. I play porch fest next year. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So my number is 845 now. Did I do that wrong? Oh, 845, right? So we have... So the balance was 150, 155, but that's 100. Okay. All right. So it's it's 10 of 8. Do we want to keep going? Do we want to call it? Okay. I'm going to wrap it up. Okay. I've got a couple it. things I need okay. to get Good done. work, folks. Good work. This All is right. not, listen, cool. this is not easy stuff. I watched the town no, council do this. Not easy work, right, Mary? <laughs> um. Hmm. So, so plot out, plan out another meeting. Yes, yes. So Will is telling me he can't make Wednesdays. Um, which I think we had a Wednesday. So I'm not sure what that means for him. Um, but Wednesdays work for everyone. Well, if we want to get Will more involved, it, it, I can't do Thursdays, it, and we we don't have this room on Thursdays. Okay, so it'd be Tuesday or Monday. Monday's no good for me. Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. I think oh, okay. the, I think we chose Wednesday because Wednesday worked okay. for everybody. But I think his okay. I think his schedule changed. Now he can't do. Um, okay. He's going to try and he's going to try and figure that out. So right. November. You want to do November and December? Sure. Yeah. Second Wednesday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I jumped ahead. My apologies. Um, number five, items not anticipated. Do we have any items? Not anticipated? No. Okay. Nope. No. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So Wednesdays, December. I'm um, sorry. November, December. 630 still works for everybody? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm fine with six. Too. Six would be nice. <laughs> Is six better? Does six work for Ali? Six is fine with me. Does six work for you? Whatever. Whatever. Is it better? Six. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's actually the the earlier the better, probably. Long and short of it. Yes, it runs over. Yeah. Around November thirteenth. Um. Yeah, I can do November thirteenth. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Works. And Ali said, "Yeah, yeah." Okay. Do we want to look at December, or do you want to wait? I want to do one month at a time. So maybe I'll clean up on December. It could be our party. I would do more early on December. Christmas gets. If we if we clean it up in November, we don't have to do December. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Okay. So. November 13th, six o'clock. Yep. All right. Meeting adjourned. Yes. Second. Yep. Sounds good. Do we need to make a motion for that? I'm still not clear. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think we knew. Yeah. Okay.
Are you seconding, Aye. Morocco? Morocco seconding? Yep. Okay. Yep, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Take Thank care, you. everybody. Bye.